I, uh, for Friday, I have my, my California call sign, sign, and my, uh, my Jefferson shirt. It's kind of like the duality of man. Hey, I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, I'm homeless, and I understand if you stand next to a radio, it gets you nice and warm if it's transmitting. <laughs> Goodbye. Either microwaves or it's the tubes, one of the two. Suze, I'll be right there. We're here at uh, Boomtown. I'm Gordo, WB6NOA, K6UDA. That's Bob, forwards or backwards. And uh, we've got a nice start at the Ham Fest. Uh, two more days to go. Wish you were here. I don't even need to say anything. He said it all. Here's Bob. Exhibit Hall, uh, there is, man, there is everybody here. There's small guys, uh, Jeff AK6OK has his Kenwood set up, Precision Antennas, MFJ, HRO, uh, Ben Tennis here, the Liquidator guys are here. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. This is pretty cool. Parked my motorhome at the Boomtown KOA, and while the half mile walk up the hill wasn't the big thing, it was the half mile walk up the hill in the altitude. The Saturday morning ham swap was in full swing when I got there at 7 a.m. And uh, I'll tell you what, there was some really, really good stuff there. It wasn't a huge ham swap, but it was fun. Um, yeah, well, the FCC just passed a new uh, rule that states that you have to have your ham radio license to fly in 5.8 gigahertz, what we use for audio video transmitter in here, because it interferes with weather stations, satellite stuff. So uh, we decided, I decided to do a talk at 2.30 in the Ponderosa about the whole rules and regulations and stuff. I just want to kind of cover it so okay. everyone's kind of on the same page with stuff. Here. So it just runs off a small 2S, uh, 1S battery, it's like 240 uh, milliwatt hours, and it runs for about uh, four to five minutes, depending on how I'm pushing it. It totally seems just like I'm in it, man. So I feel like I'm inside the thing. It's a large display for the CS800D. And also, the thing will be able to uh, attach to other types of radios besides uh, our products. Anything that has a serial port, you can attach. The uh, thing has touch screen display, so you can do funny types of things with it if you need to. And you can probably operate anywhere from two to four radios with a single display. Bob! Bob, yeah. Bob is the man. If you want to know anything about amateur radio or motorcycles, Bob's the guy. And so, what are you doing up here? I, I have a seminar I'm doing, Bob, on filters tomorrow, so you need to be there at 2.30. I know Gordon West is speaking at the same time. You'll get more out of my thing, for sure. Be 449.9, let's, let's do this. 449.9, I'm gonna have people bring in their duplexers here. And so, that's what should be passing right here. Watch this. Uh, whoop, see that? There we go. We'll bring this one over. Uh huh. Right there. And a third one. And right there is a perfectly aligned duplexer. How quick was that? <laughs> What I love about these ham fests 
is checking out these small manufacturers, these new startups, guys that have uh, just new and cool stuff. Um, hey, MFJ, HRO, they were there. Yesu was there. The big boys were there. But there was also a lot of new stuff uh, that I haven't seen before. And that's what I really, really enjoy. Now, I'm not a huge fan of old timey radios, but this collection was just cool. Got a spare pie laying around? Well, here's a new thing Remote TX. You can operate your rig from virtually anywhere. I can't even think. I am so freaking wiped out right now. <laughs> All my energy is drained, and it's only noon. I am this. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I think next year, this is going to be one of the hamventions to uh, to come to. This is gonna be a big one. It's already getting there. Um, they've got a, a ton of vendors. They got a lot of stuff going on here. Great talks. Um, small audiences. Had, these guys walking by with all kinds of stuff they're buying. It is just crazy. It's not that it's a long walk. It's just that I've actually been walking all day. I am wrecked. But I'm going to go have that uh, all-you-can-eat lobster buffet. I'll let you guys know what that is. Uh, that's like... Perfect, thank you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. Here is my first round of all you can eat. MFJ, thanks for dinner. <laughs> hey Bob, good to have you buddy. <laughs> good to have this. Oh yeah, look at these. Man, yeah. this is just... Unbelievable. You know, usually you get a bib. So you don't. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the best part of the of the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is the good stuff. Mmm. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Ripping all over the napkins and mm. everything. There's a mess in there. Good. All right, there's one that's not opening. <laughs> that bug. Mm. What's his name, Bob? His name is Fred. <laughs> Uncle Fred. You know what? Normally, I would, I would cut this into little pieces and and enjoy it. Enjoy it, savor it. Mmm. But there's no reason to. You can go up there and get two more. I'll right go away. get two more. <laughs> I know. And then I'll get two more after that. <laughs> oh. Don't let anybody tell you that this is not good. This is good. This is good. Round two. Shrimp, clams, and more lobster. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful lobster tail. Mm. Gypped. I got gypped on this he one. He's got no claws at He's all. He's got no claws. Ah. But he got that beautiful tail. I'm gonna <laughs> eat that. Six freaking lobsters. My belly is like full. You can't believe how full my belly is right now. Oh. Thank you, MFJ, for dinner. All right, guys. Unlike Richard here, go in, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification, the little bell. That's gonna. That's gonna let you know when I post a new video.
<laughs> I'm Bob, K6 UDA. K5 MFJ, peace out. And uh, everybody else, All over beautiful the country and the world. Nevada <laughs> at NevadaCon. And uh, I'll get back to you guys real soon with uh, this new Yesu radio that I just spent money on. And yep. a bunch of MFJ stuff. And a bunch of MFJ stuff. Guys, I'm Bob, K6UDA. I'm out of here. 7-3.